almost sin-free brownies. Can you, almost. Oh, well, you know, it's, it's, it's debatable, but the main thing is there's no sugar, mm. there's no refined sugar, because right. usually in a brownie you'd have 360, not in one brownie, but in a batch of, 360 grams of Ooh, white sugar. It's too much. It's just, I mean, it's not even coming out, there's that much in there. <laughs> you know, that's how much sugar is in there. So it's to crazy. try and reduce that a little bit, yeah. I'm using fruit sugar. So it's still a type of sugar, but it's not unrefined. <laughs> it's a natural sugar. So I'm using dates, so gorgeous, Actually. big, fat, plump, I love those dates. big, fat ones. They're so <laughs> flavourful, mm, aren't they? Really chewy. Good. And then I'm going to use a banana as well. OK. So what you do is you chop up the dates mm -hmm. and you pop them into a bowl with a teaspoon of uh, bicarb, which helps to soften them. OK. It'll also help to work with the cocoa powder to make a really fudgy brownie. Right. And then about 80 mils of boiling water. Now, a great tip is if you weigh your water, any liquid in baking, weigh it. Don't use one of those rubbish measuring jugs because they're not accurate. OK. Weigh it. So one gram is one millilitre. Oh, So it's as easy that's as that. Good. So you don't even okay. need to change the, change the unit. Right. So pour the, pour the uh, water into there with your dates and then leave that for about 30 minutes or so. Okay. And that all just goes into, water and all, into a food processor. Right. Now, if you don't have one, you could try and do this in a, in a, in a you know, a, a machine, a freestanding electric mixer thing. Yeah. Or you could use some beaters, handheld sure. beaters. But just try and get it done. But this, this is the best way. Yeah. So it's a good excuse to make someone buy one for you. And then in with a banana. Do you banana. not think every home should have one? Oh, of course they should. Thanks. No home should come without one. Yes. In with a banana as well, just for a bit more sweetness. Loads of potassium okay. in bananas as well. So Very good for you. Good for you. So blend those up just until they're a bit mushy. Yeah. That'll do. Almost there. That's good. And as soon as that comes together, you can add the other ingredients. So it's cocoa powder. Make sure it's a sugar-free, not, not like a hot chocolate powder, because you're just right. undoing all the goodness. Mm -hmm. So uh, cocoa powder, Dutch processed cocoa powder is good. So in with that. And then another it hot good, food trend. Oh, it smells mm. so good. Another hot food trend for 2016 is rye flour. There's twice as oh, much okay. fibre in rye flour as there is in wheat flour. Right. It's an old ancient grain, so it's really good for you. And it's obviously it's a little bit nuttier, mm. but with the cocoa powder and the banana and the dates, I like how it That'll gives work. you that sort of raw food flavour. Sure. And then two eggs. And also, you can't have a cake without the fat, so I'm going to use butter. Right. You know, I'm a farmer's son and I think butter is the best thing for you. I'm with you on butter. I don't like margarine. I think it's no, horrible. No, I don't. And I don't like um, coconut oil. It's about 10 quid for a jar of coconut oil and it's butter. just, it's just it's butter. nonsense. Absolutely. Butter's fine. So in with the butter and blend that to a really quite a da, da, da. thick paste. So blend it for about, about 30 seconds or so just till it comes together. Oh, you can smell the cocoa. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. And you don't lose that intense, fudgy mm. chocolatiness. That's the main thing. Beautiful. And once that's ready, you'll see it comes together into a very thick... Oh, that thing's stuck. A very thick batter. It's great. Obviously, don't lick that off there, because you'll cut your tongue open. I have made that mistake before, but I'm not going back there. Mm. And I've got here um, a... A, a 20 centimetre cake tin, so it's a square one. It's greased and lined. If, if, it's, if it's an old tin and it's not very non-stick, then make sure you grease uh, and line the sides as well. But this is just greased on the sides and lined on the bottom. Lovely. And all I'm going to do is take this really thick batter. I should have put a vanilla pod in there as well, but I forgot. But that's so if okay. you do have a, but you don't have to, but it's a if nice If you've got one lying about, just chuck it, bring in. it in. Obviously, take the seeds out. I'm, all I'm going to do is scrape this really thick batter, so you can see how thick it goes, into the tin. A few lumps of banana there, I'm not bothered about that. That's all right. And then bake it for about 20, 25 minutes. And okay. when, when it's cooled, you let it chill in the fridge for a bit. Yep. It gets even better and fudgier. Cut it into uh, eight or 16 portions. And well, you'll try it in a little oh, bit. Geez. You know, that would be good for Greg. He's training. Oh, it, it would be good for Greg. Yeah, we're going to talk to him in just a minute. And we'll he might want one. some of that. We'll give him a brownie. Lovely. Give him a batch. <laughs> Don't give me one. I'm going to put well, some in a bag for you to take. To keep yourself topped up while you're swimming. Don't eat them, for the big giant challenge. the water, so keep it on the boat. Do you know what? They're really nice. They're different. Oh, they're chewy, aren't they? They're chewy, are mm. They're quite they're bitter. Good. They're not as sweet as a real brownie. But I like them. But it's, it feels like it's doing you good, doesn't it? It tastes like it's good for you. And it's you. still like a really nice treat. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Protein. Yeah, there's loads of protein from the eggs and mm. a bit in the butter as well. That's good. I'm on a protein That's diet. Are you? Well, have are you having one. to eat like double the normal that you eat? Yeah, the protein has its benefits, obviously, because it builds you up. But you, it, you are quite windy. Uh, nice. Yeah, Thanks for yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> That's lovely. Thank you. But it's very, very nice. Much. Good. It's really nice. You can have a bag full. Mm. And good luck. Thank good luck, much. love, on that bombshell. Take them away and eat That's and, right. and listen. I feel really wanted when I come yep. here. Yeah, I know. Thank and you. take care of yourself. Thank you. Because you're precious to us all. <laughs> Thanks. And thank you. So are you, Lorraine. <laughs>